everyone, it's me. I'm back on your screens this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed last week's session. Um, this week we're going to start with a game. Okay, now this one will be very hard and I expect to see your replies. Um, this was a game that was suggested to me by Charlie, one of our other leaders, and it's called Guess the Eyebrows slash eyes really because I've not cropped out their eyes okay so I've got two pictures that I'm going to show you now um, one of them is harder one of them is easier and if you send me your response we can then uh, up the game okay first one let's let me switch over okay okay first one I'm going to switch over now okay here's number one whose eyes are they and here's number two Whose eyes and eyebrows are they? Okay, so what I want to, do, want to see is your responses to whose eyebrows you think they are. Perfect, so that's our game. Um, hopefully that would get you to start thinking about um, the show and about like eyebrows and faces and celebrities and different looks. What I'm gonna do today is we're going to deconstruct a picture. Of some makeup so I'm gonna find a picture now okay so I'm gonna switch now to my view down look um, and I've got an image on my iPad and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to deconstruct it to kind of look at what they've done to um, do this makeup and I would like you to grab a picture of some makeup that inspired you to do your designs last week and I would like you to sit down and deconstruct it and think how they've done it um, if you're doing makeup, do a makeup one. If you're doing costume, do a costume one. Okay, and let's go. Okay, so here we have my iPad um, with my picture on it and I've got my um, pencil here. So you can see my image here is like a fairy kind of um, creature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the skin and I'm going to go and find a black pen. Perfect. I'm going to go and look really closely at the skin and think, oh, that's a lovely green skin there. Oh, I'm going to have to use a different colour because you can't see that. Let's go with a nice pink. There we go. Oh, you still can't see that. Sorry about the screaming children. Hopefully you can still hear me. Right, there we go, perfect. Okay, so her green skin looks like it was painted on. Um, she's probably had some shading here and round her collarbones with eyeshadow. Um, her face has got some eyelashes on it she's got gold leaf round her face yeah um, and she's got her thin eyebrows filled in She's got eyeliner on. She looks like she's got some form of gold and brown eyeshadow on. So you're really just um, writing down what you see. Because what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to ask you to take your picture and I would like for you to recreate it in your own design, adding your own style and then the week after, if we're still not able to go back, we are going to um, apply it to ourselves or if you have someone else in your household that would let you do their makeup, apply it to somebody else, okay? So you can see that I've got brown brown twig makeup this could be in paint 
There we go. And her lips look like they have a lipstick on. In a shimmer or metallic. Sorry about the kids. Okay, and she's got gold leaf here. And onto the hair. So her hair looks a bit more difficult. But I can see that this here, if I just cut that, this here, uh, I can see that all of this here is her natural hair. And what they've done is they've, they've pinned all of this, the rest of it, onto her natural hair. Hopefully you can see that, that all of this here is her natural hair and this bit around here and then the rest of it has all been pinned in and pre-made um which can be something that we can do so i'm going to pick a different color to do the hair add a new layer perfect um so she's got a oh that's not that's not a good color can't see that let's try orange there we go you can see here she's got a crown of some sort made from moss um that could be hot glued onto a hairband oh headband hairband perfect uh she's got some twigs coming out of it coming from Perfect. Um, and then she's got what looks like to be crepe hair. So crepe hair is um, fake hair. That is plastic, which we can use. It's what wigs are made from. It's called crepe hair. And it looks like she's got a acorn in the middle of her head, which is probably fake, but we can just write acorn. Okay, and then underneath her um, crown kind of thing, she's got her natural hair, like I said before, and it is, oh, let's not do that, let's get around that, there we go, it is curled, maybe with a curling wand. Okay, so there's my image for now, um, with all my information on it. And you can see that I've deconstructed everything and you can see that I've tried to um, show how they've done their makeup. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my version of their makeup having use, using my notes. And that's what I would like you to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Uh, save image and I'm going to start a new one. Perfect, and I'm going to import what I just put in to my iPad. Perfect, and then I can use that as my reference. So for now, I'm going to close that and I'm going to insert my face chart, and I'll come back to you on the top, otherwise, we can't see it. There we go. So there's my um, inspiration image, and there's my face chart. So there makeup has a green um, glow or green colour to it so that's what I'm gonna do. Again like you can use pencils but my printer has currently run out of ink so I'm having to use my iPad to show you but I'm just gonna give her, let's use a bigger brush and a darker green, I'm gonna give her a nice green glow There we go, hopefully you can see, yeah. So she's green all over, perfect. I'm then gonna rub out her eyes really quick. Oh, not that much. I'll, I'll rub out her eyes and do her lips and everything, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, there we go, I've got my um, eyes and my lips. At the moment she looks quite witchy. Let's look back at our reference. Okay, so she's got some 
thin eyebrows what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have fluffy eyebrows so you can see that I've changed the design the original design to make it my own because I prefer a fluffy eyebrow so I'm just gonna go in and draw my eyebrow hairs here nice and fluffy the same on the other side Oh, people love playing in their gardens. It's lovely to hear. There we go. There's my fluffy eyebrows. Oh. Let's just rub out that last, those last few hairs and redraw them all. There we go. There's my fluffy eyebrows instead of my straight ones, like my image. Um, she's then got darker features and darker... Um, things uh eyeliner around her eye so that's what i'm gonna go in and do i'm gonna use my brushing tool and i'm gonna take a lighter brown i'm gonna airbrush around her eye there we go see that imagine some depth and some shading now under her eye Okay, when I zoom out, you can really see it. So this is all her eyeshadow. And then I'm also going to take it... Oh. This is what happens when you try and work on an iPad. There we go. And then I'm going to take it... around her nose area because I'd like to define in here a bit more like they have this is why you've got to keep turning your paper when you're designing because you could do one thing and it could look great and then you do it and you look at it from a different angle and it looks completely different to how you imagined. So it's really important to keep switching the paper around. There we go, that'll do. Let's have a look. Perfect. Um, she's then got her gold leaf. Now obviously because um, I don't own any gold leaf to stick on my iPad. I'm just going to draw in some little gold specks or some little yellowy specks on her face. Let's start with some. Let's use a pen. So, this is all my gold leaf going in here. My gold leaf going in here. And again, the same over the top of this. Because makeup's all about layers, so it's about seeing what layers they've put in and what layers you can then put in and they've got some around here and around here that's all my gold leaf now they've not contoured her face as much as i would like to so that's what i'm going to add in next i'm going to add in a slightly darker green use my airbrushing tool again and i'm gonna go for a moss kind of green and i'm gonna use that I'm going to use that to shade her cheekbones a bit. There we go. And down the jawline. There we go. Can you see how that makes such a big difference to her face shape? Hopefully you can. And then again. On the other side. Around the forehead. Along the jawline. I'm also just going to add some around the nose to give that more of a 3D pointed effect. Let's hope you can see that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm then going to add some highlights in. I'm going to add some highlights above the contour I've just put in, underneath and round through here. I'm going to add some to the end of the nose and the same on the other side. So you can see I'm starting to build up my face and make it look a bit more 3D than my flat image here. Um, I'm then going to add my eyeliner and my lashes. 
There we go. Um, they've used black, but I'm going to go with a brown, with a really dark brown. Um, and I'm just going to fit in my eyeliner. And I'm going to do top and bottom lashes because mine's for a stage production. And again on the other side. Perfect. And I'm just going to draw my eyelashes in with a slightly smaller pen. I'm just going to draw my eyelashes in with a slightly smaller pen. Only really quickly. Quick eyelashes. There we go. And some little eyelashes over here too. Eyelashes are the hardest things to draw, so I just draw little lines and hope that people understand that they're eyelashes without my um, labelling. And she's got some bottom eyelashes down here, some bottom eyelashes down here. Perfect, there we go. She's already starting to take shape. Um, I've now got to draw in the branches, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use a slightly thicker pen and a slightly darker I'm just going to go in and draw my little branches okay. ok there's one side I want to try and make them kind of even, but I don't want to make them exactly the same. It's all going on today outside. I would have loved to have taken this outside, but you can't see my screen if I go outside, which is so sad. But feel free to sit outside and design, that's my favourite place to design. There we go, so you can see I've got my two um, branch areas, like hers, but my version. Um, last but not least, her lips. I'm going to go for a slightly pinker lip, then they've got... Mm, mm, yeah, about that. And I'm going to put that all over the lips. This is where colouring pencils come in handy. There we go. So there's my pink lips. There we have it. My version of my original makeup after having deconstructed so I could see what I wanted to add in and what I didn't want to add in. Um, I would probably then add some gems and some glitter because I'm a sucker for a gem and some glitter. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just add those in now. My gems and my glitter. Just to add to the gold, we'll add some silver in. These will really pick up on stage. Any gems, any glitz, any glam on stage will just look amazing, which is why you've got to got to add them in, you've got to add it in. There we go. Much better. There we go. I'll probably then go in and label it just like your other one. Um, just like how I explained in my last video. So if you need any tips and tricks on labelling, go to that video. I won't go over it again because it can be quite boring just sitting and labelling for you guys to watch me to sit and label. Um, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll switch back to me now. I hope you've enjoyed deconstructing a makeup and making it your own with me. Um, next week I'm hoping that we can either, I can either give you feedback on your designs if you send them to me or we can start applying things so that would be nice. So if you have any makeup or you have any kind of um, costumey bits it'd be really good to see you um, making things and trying out makeup on yourself. I'll do a video soon hopefully 
on um, making things and applying makeup. So hope to see you next week. Really, 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 really want to see your designs because we're coming up to showtime and we need to get those designs finalised. So that would be amazing. If you could send them to me and Faye, that would be amazing. Okay? So I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you have a lovely time. Bye!